is up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I'm John the Potter and today we have an exciting video. We're talking about an extruder. So I've had this extruder in my studio, this old gray one for like basically since I got there. So like eight years, I bought that extruder on eBay. The guy still sells them. He's this guy that just makes them and sells them in Canada. And I bought it, it's like 250, 300 bucks. As I was setting up the new studio, everything, you know, the, the scut wheel that I have is really new. And I got, the kilns I have are nice with the touch screen and everything. And the, the extruder that I have has worked, but every time I push, like I extrude the clay out, a bunch of clay kind of like comes out. It's really annoying, wastes a lot of clay. It's just, it's not easy to clean. There's just a whole host of things that are wrong with it. So I reached out to Amico and Brent, who I know from using one in college makes a great extruder. And so I reached out to them and said, hey, if you guys have any interest in having a piece of equipment in my new studio, I'd love to showcase the extruder and the installation, the usage. And I, and I know it's just, it's a better extruder than the one I was using. That's what this video is. So thank you so much. Shout out to Amico Brent for Oh, this thing's a, thing is a beast, Brent. Thank you for sponsoring this video. They sent me this extruder. So I did not pay for this, they sent it to me. And I very much look forward to getting it set up and using it, showing you guys what it is. So I use the extruder for a couple things, but mostly like 95% of the things I use it for are handles. And I love it. I love just the consistency, the ease of use, the way you can get like, you pull down that thing, fill it up with clay, and you get like 40, 50 handles at a time. Super fast, much faster than pulling everything by hand, even though some people say that's the best way. So, here's the unboxing right now. Okay, so I'm not sure where the perfect place to put it is. So we could put it on this wall right here. That was my first thought is that this wall, but the problem is there's a stud here and there's a stud here and I wanna put it on a stud. So what I might have to do is like put two by fours across there. That's the first option. The second option, which if you saw who was helping me, unbox this, that was Macy. She's doing a job shadowing thing. This week she's been helping me move the studio and she's super interested in ceramics and pottery. So shout out to Macy, thanks for helping me this week. The other option would be to put it on this wall over here. So if you comment below with which one you think will work better, that won't help me at all because it'll totally be installed by them. All right, friends, so we got the extruder all installed. You can actually see we moved it. So I had it here, but then we decided that we wanted to be able to put this cool studio sign that we got from a friend of ours for our wedding. 
I think we're gonna put that right there. So we needed room for that, so we thought that it was kind of a waste of space to have it right in the middle, and then the next stud over was right here. So, so far, this extruder is so much better than my other extruder in so many ways. It doesn't, like when you have this thing on here, it doesn't like leak out clay when you're extruding, which is like oh, so nice. The other one was so annoying and so messy all the time. Um, so that's probably one my favorite thing about this one. The other thing that's really nice is you pull these these two pins right back here and you can pull this thing out and then clean it. Way more easily cleanable, which I think that's a theme for this whole new studio of mine is like, how can we make everything as easily cleanable as possible? So I love how this thing slides over. See that? So like my other one was always like sticking out like that, but this one just put to the side, it's all good to go. This little mechanism is super cool. Have it up, then it won't go down at all, but then when you push it down, then it only goes down and it won't go back up. Right? So then that would be when you're actually extruding. So when you wanna stop, then you have it like that and that just holds it in place. So then if we wanna go up, then we have it up, push it up, push it down. Oh no, we keep it up. Still getting used to that. But then this whole thing can slide over all the time. So, there's, oh, there's one more thing I wanna show you. So I showed you the um, testile die already, which that was like a super cool surprise to be able to make testiles out of an extruder, brilliant. Um, and it comes with all these other ones as well, like this one, this one, and then it comes with a blank so that you can make some of your own dies. What I'm super excited about using is you can also get a different set where they're made out of metal and that has this one. So I'm guessing I'll probably use this one for handles a lot. I like that one. Uh, this one for bigger handles, like this one, I'll try those. Um, and then for like coils and stuff, all that. So basically you use this die to get it so that you're only using like the part of it like that. Yup. That's a pretty good handle right there. All right, so anyway, I will, you'll hear me talk about this extruder in future videos when I start using it, when I start, you know, getting my 30 mugs on the table and then just like cranking out, cranking out handles with the extruder. So super excited. Wanna say a shout out again to Brent. Thank you guys so much for A, designing a killer pottery tool and B, for sending it to me. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate your support. I don't know how that just happened, but I'm really happy that it didn't break that window. So this, it also has a little uh, hanger thing that you can just hang on here. Which if I was smart, I would have done that. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, all the things. Check out our Patreon page. We're sending out, oh, this in, whenever day I'm recording this is like beginning of June. So we're picking three patrons to send out some extra mugs to. So this month, we're sending out three mugs. These three mugs we're sending out to uh, these three patrons right here on the screen. So thank you guys, patrons. You guys keep this channel moving forward, getting better. Thank you so much. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video.